All right, welcome back to Tuesday. Today we're going to learn how to make a screencast, and we are going to use um, the add-on or the extension called Screencastify. Okay, uh, our school does have a license with Screencastify that allows us to get it unlimited, so that gives us some uh, extra opportunity that you wouldn't get from the free one. This is what it looks like when you're recording. You just hit this icon up there into your extensions, and that's how you start the process. You might have to practice it. Let's see what it looks like if you go to Screencastify. Okay, you're just gonna add the extension to your Chromebook, but you might wanna make sure that you put in a tech ticket so that you get um, the unlimited one. But all you're going to do is hit, you would hit un install. Okay. What's nice about this is this is what it's going to look like when you hit your extension button. Right now, I have picked that I'm uh, streaming my desktop. That's why you can't see my face. If I wanted to make a video of my face, I could pick the webcam. Okay. Now, The nice thing about Screencastify is it captures what you're doing on your screen. You can use these tools down here to mark on your documents or to mark over documents in a manner like this. This is a nice way to kind of help students maybe go through some assignments or to make your slides more interactive so they contain animation. You can use your finger to write and it's pretty legible. Okay, you can also use a stylus. When you're done, <clears throat> the nice thing about Screencastify is it works seamlessly with your Google Drive. Here's how I erase. Obviously I can erase this way or I can just clear the entire screen. If I wanna get out of my pen and go back to using my mouse. This allows me to tab through other tabs and just let them see what's on my screen, okay? The, the way that I use Screencastify most is to answer students' questions. So I can have them send me what they're working on and then I can write on that question and then decide whether or not I wanna send that answer back to them uh, in a file that is shared only between the two of us if it's something that I want to make sure doesn't get out or I might create a public file to share with them so that they can share it with their peers. Another thing that I do is if it's something that I know is going to be used for years down the road I will upload it to YouTube and then that way it's saved on my channel in YouTube forever so I don't have to manage all these files. So when I'm done I'm just going to hit stop here and it's going to pop up a new window that will allow me to share a link, to post the link to YouTube, or to save the link. That is your first day video walkthrough. I hope that's enough to get you started. In general, you want to download Screencastify, add the extension, it should show up up there and then start playing around by clicking the icon and record your screen. If you are not in, come on, pull up. If you're not in what's called Screencastify Unlimited, you'll see that right here. Then uh, contact one of our tech people and make sure they help you get this extension that we have paid for. Hope this helps, boom!